My river is the Waimakariri. Sadly, it, along with waterways across New Zealand, are being infested by runoff from pesticides. Farmers are using pesticides to protect their crops, yet only 2% of what is sprayed onto these crops actually stays on. That's right, 98% of pesticides that are sprayed onto a crop will run off into our waterways, wreaking havoc on the environment. Today, almost 90% of streams in the Waikato, Canterbury, Otago and Southland region are infested with up to three different types of pesticides. Now, this has the potential to cause harm to native freshwater fish and also cause algal bloom, which strips waterways of oxygen, essentially suffocating ecosystems. But to get to the heart of this problem, we need to understand the science of it. Now, why does it occur? Plants have waxy cuticles on their surface, and this makes them hydrophobic. They repel water. Along with this, some plants even have a microscopic layer of bumps, which makes them have a rough surface. So when a water droplet comes into contact with this rough surface, it has air pockets, and therefore there's a high contact angle and low surface tension which means the water droplet is prone to falling off. It's hydrophobic. This surface doesn't like water, and that's an adaptation for the plant to regulate its water content. But what if there is a, was a way to make a plant less hydrophobic and more hydrophilic at the point of pesticide application? Now, this is exactly what a team of researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology found out. They added polyelectrolytes to pesticides. A polyelectrolyte is a charged polymer. They used polyethylene imine, which is positively charged, and uh, polyacrylic acid, which is negatively charged. These two different polyelectrolytes were diluted and mixed with pesticide and were separated into two different bottles. So they had a cationic pesticide solution and an anionic pesticide solution. So from here, they were sprayed simultaneously at a leaf. And when these two differently charged, oppositely charged particles meet on the surface, they form precipitates. And together these precipitates form a hydrophilic film, causing a decreased contact angle because of the smoother surface and higher surface tension. So the surface is now more hydrophilic. It likes water. And they found out that the pesticide was retained up to 10 times better. 10 times. Now, what does this mean? It means that with this method, farmers could spray 10 times less pesticide for the same effect. Now, if we implement this successfully, this new method, it has the potential to be a game changer. With less pesticides in our waterways, we will have less damage to our freshwater fish and ecosystems. We have to remember that polyelectrolytes are biodegradable and are sourced from organic materials. So there's actually no environmental harm in using them. This kind of solution actually doesn't require that much adjustment to current equipment. So it's quite easy to implement. For example, you have already one tank of pesticide solution. Now you just need two to house two different solutions. There's no drastic changes and it can become quite economical. It's also true that because we're using less pesticides, farmers save more money. It's economical for farmers as well. Now, this concept is in line with Matauranga Māori, where one key aspect is that humans are not seen as superior in the natural world but rather we exist within it. With this in mind, the current impact of pesticides to our rivers is disrespectful and exploitative. This new method tries to reduce their impact and in doing so, we ensure a greater relationship with rivers because they're cleaner for our tamariki and their tamariki. And so it essentially creates a harmony because it's a balancing act of having to use pesticides and having to reduce their runoff. Now, 
I'm really, really intrigued about this concept and I'm really sure that it has a lot of potential. And as you can see, I even made a science fair out of it. And my results were consistent with MIT's. It showed me how even the most simple of concepts can have the potential to have tangible and profound impacts. Thank you very much.